Welfare workers say many low-income earners will struggle to meet the latest big electricity price rise. It's likely power bills will go up by around $200 next year. The state government partly blames the carbon tax. No one likes it, but no one seems to be able to stop the relentless annual increase in power prices. Today's draft determination by the QCA will be unwelcome news. Very harsh news for people who are on low incomes. For the second time this year, struggling households and small businesses have been stunned by news of a massive rise. It's been only six months since the Queensland Competition Authority increased electricity bills by about 22 per cent. Now the QCA's Malcolm Roberts has flagged another huge rise. From July next year, 13.6 per cent. We're seeing three significant price pressures pushing up prices. Wholesale generation, network costs and the solar feed-in bonus will add about $175 to next year's tariffs, plus higher retail billing costs. I don't think there's uh, any doubt that there'll be households that simply can't cope with another 13.5%. Laurie Stratton is a personal carer from ESC. He says it's a shock for poorer families and retirees. Might resort back to the old tilly lamps and the caro lamps or sit in a room with blankets around themselves, just frightened to um, overspend their money. QCOS wants the government to fast-track a review of concessions. We do pay out a lot of money for concessions um, by way of hard to other concessions. Of course, we'll continue doing that in the future. I suppose you've got to grin and bear it. The QCA has made a point of emphasising that 7 or 8 per cent of the power price is the federal carbon tax which the Abbott government wants to repeal. So the clear message out of today's determination and the clear message for Labor senators in Canberra is to move to scrap the tax. And in case the clear message wasn't clear enough... Uh, moving on the carbon tax is the most important thing that can happen today. And remove the carbon tax now. Remove the carbon tax. But today. Perhaps we'll know in time for the QCA's final price decision in May next year. Chris O'Brien, ABC News, Brisbane.